Happy Easter, happy Passover to you, and do I have a great recommendation for you. So if you're looking for a great, hazy, New England-style IPA, and one that will surely make you look like a connoisseur, then join me on this tasting. My name is Eddie, and I have tasted and sampled many beers from all over the world, and it is my passion to help you find that perfect beer you're looking for. Whether you're looking to try something new or there is something very specific that you're looking for to pair with your food, I got your back. Welcome back, dear lovers. Thank you for spending the next few minutes with me. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, I taste and review all kinds of beers and give you my most honest opinion about them, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like the one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon down there so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up, let me know you like it. Now, as I said, Today, I have from our friends at Lord Hobo here, their, another one of their hazy or otherwise known as New England's IPA, their glorious IPA. And you know, being Easter and just after Passover, I think glorious is the right theme to go for, right? And check it out, I have my trusty tulip here, which is the glass I always like to use and the one I recommend you use when you're pouring yourself a hazy IPA. My friend, remember having the right glass for the beer that you are tasting is a great part of becoming and showing that you're a beer connoisseur. So if you want to get your own set of beer connoisseur TV glasses, check out the description below. See how you can get your hands on one. Now look at that. <clears throat> great, great, great and that's exactly where we start, right? Appearance. And more importantly, the three C's of appearance, which are color, clarity, and carbonation. That is right. So color, it's kind of like a pale orange color. Yes, it's, it's orange, not the brightest orange I've seen, but it's, yeah, it's orange color. And, well, it's a New England style, otherwise known as a hazy IPA, so it's, of course, very, very cloudy, very hazy. I even see some chunks of, you know, a little bit like larger chunks floating around in this baby here. And carbonation, yes, decent amount of carbonation. I definitely see fast rising bubbles and the head of foam, it's very, very nice and white head of foam. You saw it went all the way up to the rim, but it, it is dissipating somewhat quickly, I would say. You still have about a little bit over a finger there, but you, it's, it's dissipating quickly. Now, let's go for the aromas, because with all the, the galaxy hops that they claim to have here, I'm already getting a whiff of it, it says a classy showcase of galaxy hops. And if you know anything about galaxy hops, you know what those aromas can bring, right? Woo! Oh yes, tropical, tropical fruit. Peach. I don't know, maybe some pineapple, mango, and yeah, I would say some citrus, maybe like um, um, like orange or even maybe some grapefruit, and maybe some like undertones of grapes there. But man, great, great aromas there. Kind of like balanced, but very, very tropical fruity aromas, that's for sure. And now, the best part, right? All right, let me describe that for you here. It is dankier than I expected. So, and there is that grapefruit finish. So, bitter on the tip of the tongue, the bowl of fruit definitely explodes through the middle of the palate. So you get all that, you know, peach, grape, uh, orange, and all those citrus, and maybe even some pineapple in there. 
and then kind of like towards the back, it gets bitter again, kind of like that grapefruit tartiness or, or bitterness. But throughout most of the taste, right after the, the first of, you know, the, the tip of the tongue, so when it starts expanding, you get a lot more of that traditional IPA kind of dankness. So it, it, it does have a big IPA body with a lot of these other tropical fruits. So if that's your thing, and I like it, it's very refreshing, very uh, crisp finish. It's definitely, definitely very complex flavor profile there. And that, it's important when we go to the next piece, which is the part that you come to me, the part that makes you a connoisseur, correct? The food pairings. Now, of course, IPAs are good to pair with you know, spicy and maybe some rich flavorful foods. Tropical or New England IPAs and even West Coast IPAs, you have to be careful of what you pair them with because they have this whole other range of flavors and aromas that you want to make sure that you take those into account. So specifically for, you know, this one, for Lord Hobo's Glorious, I'm going to start with a ceviche. Yes, a white fish ceviche is going to pair beautifully with this one because it does have a lot of that citrusy and a lot of the, the, uh, the flavors, uh, the tropical fruit flavors. And kind of going in parallel with that, check this one out. Try some fish tacos with peach, with peach salsa. Yes, fish tacos with peach salsa. That's going maybe some chunks of like, you know, mango and, you know, other tropical fruits there. Oh yes, that's going to pair very, very, it's going to be a great pairing. And if you like chicken, which I do, try some peach glaze chicken. Yes, it is a thing. Check it out. I assure you that would be a great, great pairing with this beer because it's going to harmonize a lot of that. Um, as far as cheese, I think a regular cheddar cheese will definitely be a good pairing for this beer. Like I said, it does have that, that dankness that is going to help kind of like break some of, the, some of the flavor in that cheddar cheese. Not something that is very aged, not something that is too mature, but something that has been aged less than a year. I would think that's going to be a great cheese and beer pairing with my friend here. Now, you know, you can always trust me to leave you a recommendation as far as the dessert pairing. And today, man, do I have a great one for you. So check it out, open the description below and grab my gift to you. Now that concludes today's lesson, but not before I ask you, have you had Glorious IPA from Lord Hobo? What do you think of it? Leave me some comments. I hope I have helped you increase your beer knowledge as we all continue on this journey of being beer connoisseurs. And I encourage you to be on the lookout over the next few days when I release my next beer review video. And until then, enjoy. Enjoy.